Welcome back everyone to part nine in our Until Dawn series. And I gotta be honest, I, I mean I know I've said this the last couple times, but each episode or each chapter of this game just gets crazier and crazier. I mean in the last episode we finally figure out what the enemy is, which is the Wendigo and all that, which was just nuts. So I can guarantee you that these last two chapters, because I think there is only ten. Uh, they're, they're gonna be crazy. So I hope you guys enjoy. So strap your seatbelts on and let's freaking do this. All right, looks like we're playing as Michael now. And I think he was gonna try to go figure out what the hell was going on and try to find Josh in the, uh, mine i believe so we'll see how this goes but uh he doesn't have anything that can really fend off the wendigo though so hopefully we can find some that has the ability to generate some fire but looks like we're going to be going to the sanatorium and i th i don't know if there's a way to get to the cave though from here or the mines, I mean. But I do remember being here when we played as him. We found, like, we first saw that guy and we found the dogs and all that. Yeah, if I remember right, we came and looked around here before, though. But there wasn't really anything over here. So I think we have to come back this way. Yeah. That's a good question. We haven't even seen those wolves since that one chapter. I, I honestly don't even think there's anything else for us to find over here, though. I mean, I could be wrong, but I felt like we explored this room pretty good. I doubt anything has really happened over here since we were here last. Although I don't recall being able to go up this set of stairs. Yeah, I don't think we ever walked up this set of stairs, you guys. So this is interesting. Definitely quiet in this building too, that's for sure. Oh, here's something. Oh, what's this? Is it a gun or something? Nice, a shotgun. Heck yeah, and a torch maybe? Pitchfork and a mob. Let's light this baby up. I mean, it's not a bad shotgun. Me personally, I think I'd fill my pockets with those shells. But the thing about the shotgun is, it's only a—it's only going to hold two shells at a time. So, hold on. Did I miss anything in here, though? I always wonder that because the way the rooms are, it almost makes you think like you cannot go any further. Sometimes we can, but it looks like we got everything out of here we can get. So now we're armed with a torch and a sawed-off double-barrel shotgun. Let's hope that's enough to fight off the Wendigo, huh? I don't know, do we ever actually get in here? I guess we can't do anything. I thought maybe we could just blow the lock off that freaking thing. Alright, where the heck do we need to go? I mean, granted, I guess we haven't checked out this side of the building. Oh, wait, here is some. Here we go. Hey, big guy. 
So you see me again, huh? Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Uh, Couldn't have said it better myself. Ah, boy. You know, it, it makes me seriously wonder what would have happened had we have punched that dog way back then. He probably would have attacked us there. You know, we wouldn't have the use of the dog being with us. I mean, it's just amazing how many things could change the outcome of this game. If any of you guys have played this before and you did punch the wolf, I'm just really curious. Like, leave something. Leave a comment about what happened. Anyway, I was just saying, leave a comment below of what happened, uh... For you guys when you got here. Like you, Wolfie. Stuck on this side. Oh, it looks like a lever we can pull, maybe. Right. There goes nothing. Awesome. So I guess this is maybe a place where they used to hold certain, you know, maybe very violent patients or something. Who the hell knows what we'll find in here, you know what I mean? But obviously the dog doesn't seem to really be that worried, so that's, that's a good sign. So here's some information. All I only let him read here says they should be dead, so clearly this explains more. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let, just tell you guys pause it if you'd like to read more. I'll have to read this more when I'm editing the video, so we can keep it moving along. Whoa! Oh, the other dog, other oh, wolf. Dang, that's freaking messed up. Huh, these doors were built like tanks. How crazy were these inmates? Yeah, that goes just to show how powerful they must be. I mean, look at this, look at this door. Look at the scratch marks that was just blown open like that. So obviously the Wendigo are, are no joke. What went on here? This is nuts. <laughs> this game is getting crazy, you guys. Oh, can we actually examine something different besides what we already did? Fuck, man. This is truly disgusting. I guess you could just get a closer look. I don't think there really was a clue to anything, though, necessarily. Like I said, though, at least the wolf that we're with right now, at least he's not freaking out so I'm gonna get oh look at that you guys there's a window go right there you see it oh man oh I think the dog knows something's up where the hell is he Here he is. Oh, 
Oh gosh. I love how Mike's like, just like, what the F? But he's not even like really freaked out. I'd be like, hell no. Come here, buddy. Come on, pooch. Glad we got a dog with us. Or a wolf, I mean. Why would I shoot this? Oh! Alright, let's, let's go left. I don't know if that's the smartest choice. It's so impossible to even know what's the right answer, you know? Oh. Let's bust him. <laughs> the crappy thing is it doesn't even really do anything to these guys though. freaking fingers and like they're huge all right if I screw this up you guys I'm gonna be pissed off I'm not moving Wolf knows what's up. Come on, you son of a bitch. Where are you? Blast this bastard. I think that was one of the things that we saw on a totem before. Oh jeez. That was the totem one right there. One at a time, boys. It's enough for me for all you. Oh what? Let's bust him. We'd have to have reloaded a shotgun by now though. We have zero shells left inside of it, technically. But Michael must not know this. Ooh. How would we possibly shoot him? Oh, it was my fault, you guys. I screwed that up. Oh man, we better freaking cruise. We better run our ass off. Come on, door. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Michael. Oh, we're gonna try to... Come on, Michael. Let's go. Let's roll this beast. I got it. We can try to blow this thing up. Here we 
There goes nothing, you guys. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Do you see how those dudes are moving so quick? I mean, those Windigo are crazy. Jeez, I mean, I know we're trying to find Josh, but if we we gotta just try to survive this freaking building. Oh, there's at least five in here. Probably, from what we saw back there. Um Oh jeez. I don't know where the hell our dog is. Jesus, it sounds like something's right by us. I think I just saw a shadow too. Oh my god. Let's get the hell out of here, Mike. Jeez. Let's barricade it, you guys. Because if we don't, they could just come right in the door. Hey, buddy. Come on down. It's alright. Come on, Pooch. I'll catch you on the flip side, huh? Let's see if I can bust this door down. Oh! We got another one in here. Another freaking ugly face. What the? I don't know if these things blow up. I'm going to try. Score. I think we dropped him with that one. That was huge. No way did they live from that. No way! So she is alive, you guys. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. Hell no. You're coming with us. No, Chris, we're not leaving you. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. Man, I cannot believe Jessica is alive though, you guys. I was never really sure if she died or not. So that means we're only really certain that Matt died because there's no way in hell you live from that. So hopefully, if we play our cards right. Maybe we can keep at least seven of the eight alive. Of course, 
I get the feeling that there's so many things that can happen in this chapter and the next one that uh, we could lose a lot of dudes. A lot of characters. Let's take a look what's in this grate. How about that? Hey, what about this? I mean, should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Come on, Ashley. You can do this. I would want to be right now. So who's going first? <laughs> After you. Man, I would not want to be going down here. It's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? Chris, I know you're hurt, but you gotta move it, all right? I'm trying, Ash. I don't even really remember what happened to Chris. I don't remember him getting that injured. Hey, um... Hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? I love how they're just leaving her there. It's like, hell no, they would not do that in real life. There's no way, dude. It's like, okay, thanks guys. Thanks for just leaving me back here, you freaking jacks. God, you know what? Do we even go the right way? Hold up. How do we even know that's the correct way to go, right? Oh, I guess... I guess that's the only way to go. Um, let's see. I don't see him. What the hell? Hello? Who's there? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? Oh my gosh. I'm a totally investigating the voice. Because if it is Jessica... This is fucking Maybe we can help her out. Ugh! Jessica, is that you? Alright guys, I took a huge risk here because we could potentially lose two people by my stupid choice, but... I want to help her if we can. Where the hell? Oh, right here, you guys. I we hope we better hope this is Jessica, or is it a Wendigo? Oh! Oh! We 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 effed up. You guys, holy hell, we effed up. Oh my god. Oh 
I cannot believe that. I, sh I should have known better than that, you guys. Well, we know she's dead. Wow, you guys, I cannot believe that. But what I will tell you is that is what I love about this game so far. It's like you just, you never know what's going to happen with your actions that you choose, you know. I was foolish and uh, it cost us. So let's try to play it safe with these last guys we got, these last characters. Let's just climb around. I mean, I'd really rush if I thought that Mike was in, like, a ton of trouble and we were actually close to him, but I don't see the point in risking our life, you know? Oh, it's... Well, I'm gonna take a risk here as I say that. Alright, Sam. Man, she's a freaking rock climber. Well, let's see. I wonder if there's anything we can find over here. It doesn't look like it, though. So I guess we're going to have to go this way. See what this is. Oh, shit. No, I didn't necessarily want to drop down. Could we get back up? No. Damn it. Was that another stupid choice? I hope not. Watch the freaking mind collapse on me because I went this way. You know what I mean? It's like... Oh, jeez. Why people would ever split up in these situations, I have no idea. Hello? Oh, jeez. Wow. Come on, Sam. You can do this. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Let's open this freaking door already. Come on, girl. You can do it. Come on. Let's open this. You know, I know it's not much. But at least we have a shovel. I mean, we could at least hit something with it. Oh. Let's knock this dude out. Boom. Alive, for a start. Yeah, yeah, life's good. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here anyway? I was gonna warn you about the Wendigos. I think I got it. Yeah. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. 